What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more Hunter Hunter reactions. So there's a few things I want to address. Okay, before we get into it, before we do a review. Last reaction I did 10 episodes. Um was not intentional. It was not intentional. I kept going, didn't really realize how many episodes I was doing at the time because the show kind of traps you. You know what I'm saying? It kind of traps you. It's it's so it's so good that you will lose time watching this anime. Um this is actually the first time um since um I would say it's the first time in a really long time that I've ever had a show where I can binge watch that I've just you know what I'm saying? I lose time when I watch it. Um, I make time out to, to, to actually watch Hunter Hunter now, you know, not because I want to rush through the series or anything like that. It, 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 it's not like that. It's more of like, you can't get enough of it, right? You can't get enough of it. Okay. So there was this controversy, um, last time i know a lot of you guys suggest how i should watch hunter hunter the batches of episodes that i should watch together um you guys strongly suggest not more than one more than one right strongly suggest that i should watch make sure i watch this episode and this episode together and i have nothing against that i really do i don't have nothing against that um i stopped at at 125 because I felt like that was a good place to stop. Um, I was actually before the video started. I was actually looking in the comment section to um, to try to remember or to try to see what the person had said before on the video before that, right? And I couldn't find the comment. I don't know where the comment went. Where the somebody was somebody was telling me, and I was trying to remember. What was that, what was the, what the person said? And then, you know, a couple of people said it on, on the actual video. It was like, why didn't you watch 126? Um, 125 and 126 got to be watched together. And all of this other stuff. Now, what I want to say to you guys is, 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 is really simple. I was going to watch 126. And put it and put it out by itself, and I said, "Nah, I'm not about to do that. I'm not about to do that because it's not that I'm trying to say that I'm not listening to you guys on what you have to say. You guys got to understand. After doing ten episodes, right, and I felt like that was a good place to stop, where the fight between um, Meruem and Netero was happening." I don't know if this episode, if 126, which we're going to start with, I don't know what's happening in the episode. I don't know. You guys are telling me that I should watch them together, but I still don't know what happens in the episode, right? But nevertheless, we're here. Nevertheless, we're here, right? And... I'm going to make sure, <laughs> I am going to make sure that I watch 130 and 131 together because I I just don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want you guys to come for me again. So I'm going to enjoy it like how you felt. You, you mo The majority of you guys feel like that's how you can enjoy Hunter x Hunter to the max. And I'm going to give you what you want. So today we're going to go to 131 i'm not gonna stop at 130 because a lot of you guys are gonna say oh why didn't you watch 131 along with 130 130 131 gotta go together so i'm just like listen so we're gonna do six episodes today and i'm going to stop at 131 today okay so somebody else was saying when the arc e ends as somebody was suggesting i do three episodes alone together um I, I don't know. 
I don't I don't even know how to how to to say this to you guys because I don't want you guys to feel slighted or anything like that. I want you guys to feel like I'm not paying attention to what you guys say because it's really not that. It's just that when I start watching the show, I could keep going. You know what I'm saying? I could keep going if I have time. If I don't have time or if it's coming up on the time where I usually stop doing reactions um, in the night. But today, I'm actually doing this in the daytime. So, I have time to watch a little bit extra. But I'm only going to do six because you guys said stop at 131. <laughs> okay? So, this time around, I'm going to listen to you guys and we're going to stop at 131. You guys said 131. You guys hype me up for 131. I don't know what's going to happen in 131. Okay? I don't know what's going to happen in 131, but it seems maybe the conclusion of the fight um, between um, Netero and Meruem, maybe that's going to be hype. I don't know what's going to happen in this beginning episode. I don't know, because Hunter Hunter don't necessarily, when it comes on to their fight, their fight, especially the fights in this um, arc, they kind of split up, like they'll show some and then they'll, you know, take a break, go visit the side characters, and then they'll come back. But we'll see how it goes. Um, okay, so, yeah. So that's pretty much all I have to say. You guys already know what's going on. If you haven't, go check out my review from the last time. I'm going to go over the, in, um, the viewpoints. The Netero and Miriam fight is happening. And we all saw he gave him the 99 hand. And it looks like Miriam is struggling a little bit. Um, but it doesn't look like he's taking any damage, really. He's really just being rolled on the floor, and it doesn't look like he's taking any damage. So, let's, um, go watch this. And as I said, we're gonna do, um, from 126 to 131. That's the aim. If I go a little bit extra over that, then everything is still good in the world, right? So, let's go do this. Remember, guys, we're headed for 75 likes. You guys smash that, in my opinion. A little bit a little bit over 75, but we did hit the goal, so we're aiming for 75 likes again. I got to thank you guys. Last video got over 700 views and climbing. Sitting at a little bit over 700 views right now. And for to have that many people watching 10 episodes of Hunter Hunter, <laughs> I think somebody commented at one point that, man, I just love, I, did I really just sit down and watch this shit for two hours? <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, it, it, it's supposed to be more than two hours though, because 10 episodes is about, about, about four hours of of watch time about four four hours of, of watching talking about 20 minutes an episode on average uh for 10 for 10 episodes but yeah that's about a lot of hours <laughs> a lot of hours, probably about four hours or so so let's jump into this reaction man 75 likes hit that like button go watch the reaction then come back here for the review and i'll see you guys then All right, 126 to 131. Hopefully there's no complaints. Um, still haven't really gathered my thoughts yet after that episode. There's a, there's, there's a lot that we can learn from Hunter Hunter. It's all I can say right now until I do a full review of the series. There's a there there's a lot we can learn from those that just you know, a couple of episodes. L let's just take a look at um what happened Meruem Netero the conclusion of that fight. That nuked messed him up. Messed him up. 
He was dead, practically. Basically blew off all his limbs. It was just, he was just basically a head and a torso. When Yuppie picked him up. Um, but, as I was saying during during the reaction, when I was talking, when I was talking about lessons can be learned, is basically that Mer Mer Meruem should take what Netero, if he, you know, but then again, now he has freaking amnesia. Hopefully, hopefully he does remember the fight and everything. Um, because it was a teaching moment for him. It was a teaching moment to teach him. So instead of having the conversation, they had the conversation through the fight. You get what I'm saying? Um, with Netero kind of teaching him through um through the fight teaching him about human evolution human um what do you call it resolve determination even when you feel like we should give up we don't give up right so there's plenty of stuff that's thrown in there. And that's what's, I mean, Tagashi is a genius in that aspect because, inst I mean, I think on the last reaction I was saying that he should have had that conversation with Meruem that he wanted to have. But in a way, the way out Tagashi wrote it is, I'm going to let Netero teach this guy what he needs to know through the fight which is absolutely brilliant i didn't expect him to do that because i was saying did does netero just want to fight you know fight somebody strong you know what i'm saying but it turns out that it was basically a teaching moment instead of me having this conversation with you let's fight i'll tell you your name but i'm going to teach you the resilience of human maybe that will help you to understand the human um understand humans a little bit better so th this is crazy because poof at this point poof is just annoying the hell out of me you know what i'm saying he's like that one character that you would love to see die but he just won't die you know what i'm saying and he keeps he, he keeps getting caught in the lies and he's still lying. <laughs> you know, I'm wondering why UP is not saying anything about the girl or trying to help him jog his memory. You know what I'm saying? I'm wondering why. You know, because he doesn't have the same agenda as Poof. So. I don't understand why he's not really talking or maybe it's because of the fact that, you know, he feels like he'll get killed if he says the wrong thing, whatever the situation is. But, um, yes. So Gon decided to fight Pito on his own. So it led him away from the castle. I didn't like what he said about killing Kamugi. I understand why he said it. You know. I understand why he said it. But I don't like that he said it. Mainly because in 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 I, I talked about this. I, I think I talked about this a little bit during the last during the last review I did where I was talking about, you know, if you knew somebody like Gone in real life, you probably wouldn't like him. And the reason why I said that is because Gun is, he doesn't care about anybody outside of his immediate circle. You get what I'm saying? It's more of like, his, his morality is, it it's only good when it serves him. You get what I'm saying? Like, he he will 
give you the benefit of the doubt. Don't get me wrong. He will give you the benefit of the doubt at first of meeting you. He's not going to immediately think that you're a bad person. It depends. You know what I'm saying? It, de it depends on what you do for him and his friends. Example, Miss um scissors guy who was a who was a murder they basically i mean he said he was gonna turn himself in right he the guy said he was gonna turn himself in but he was still a mass murderer in a way you know what i'm saying it was like oh we're not gonna kill you so that man could, could go outside and decide oh I'm, why would i want to go spend my time in a cell now I'm saying, <laughs> you know, it's just crazy to me how he treats, how he essentially treats people. If, if, if they want to serve his purpose, he's willing to let them live. But now he's in, a, he's in a stance where, where he's like, okay, Kamugi, I don't know who you are, but you mean something to my enemies. So you deserve to die. This girl has nothing to do with this whole situation. Is what Killua was trying to explain to him that this is the third party that we didn't that we were accounting for without knowing who it is. You get what I'm saying? There has to be somebody else in play. But he forgets about all of that. Because P2 hurt hurt Kite. And that's what I'm saying at at one point. I think it was in the in the in my intro I was saying that but at the same time even though Pito wanted to fight she was also protecting her nest she was also protecting the nest she was also protecting the king even if it's even if it's out of you know what I'm saying having a good time that was the goal that's the, the that's the core of everything that they do. Protect the king. Right? Innately. Naturally. That's what they want to do. Their instinct is to always to protect the king no matter what. Right? So they march out and go to, to Beijing. And now finding out. That kite is actually dead. He's not really alive. Even though. They told him before. Because I remember. When, when he first met kite. When he was taking all those hits. And then he hugged kite. They told him. That, they, that he was under the enemy's control. Right. They knew the nigga was dead. They knew he was dead. But did they care? No, they they went on and they said, okay, he's he's ready to go. And then we have the the of him sacrificing basically I don't want to say talent for power. I don't want to say talent for power, even though that's how they described it in the episode. Um as I said, man, I talked about the five stages of grief because I think that's where he drew this from. From coming from 130 to 1 to 131, I think that's where Togashi um, drew this idea from to put it into these two episodes because in, the, in 130, he was in complete denial. What is happening? I don't know what's happening. He can't be dead. There's no way. He's really dead? Is it my fault? You get what I'm saying? Denial. What's really happening? Are you not going to, to heal him? You know? Oh, are you going to heal him? No. Complete denial. Complete denial. There's a little anger building up to from episode 130. But that's how it is. Right? I talked about it. You have denial, then you have anger, then you have bargaining, depression, and then acceptance. Right? Five stages of grief. Right? So, I think that's where Togashi drew it from. 
Uh, I'm not going to say for sure it's my opinion. I think that's where he drew that idea from. To go from that, from 130 to 131. Right? Excellent, excellent, excellent writing by Tagashi. I think it is extremely... This episode was... If, if you're a just a you know a, a, a casual anime fan you know who's just in it for the entertainment that was it, it's a hype moment it's a hype moment for me it was hype but not in the sense of turn that I was like happy because I didn't want to see gone like that and my voice is breaking up because I, I'm really sad about this because for the first time he's experiencing what it's really like to lose a friend. And I've lost friends, I've lost family members, and it's not an easy time. Sometimes you can't believe it. Um, I lost somebody that was very close to me at the age of 25. Not when I was 25, he was 25. And it was a very sad time. And I'm talking about you're talking about going through the, the, the five stages of grief. I went through them. I was angry. I was wondering what happened. Why did it have to happen? You know. You know, I blamed people. You know. I never blamed myself because it wasn't a circumstance where I could blame myself I wasn't there I wasn't present you know what I'm saying you know at one point I was saying maybe I could have reached out a lot more to the person so they could stop hanging out in those bad areas and stuff like that you know what I'm saying like in those terms I was kind of trying to bargain with myself you know what I'm saying or blame myself you know but at the end of the day this was it was sad to see Gon descend into that state where he felt like he had to sacrifice basically never uh, to be able to use Nen again. And I think they used the, the Meruem versus Netero fight to kind of sh preemptively show us what could happen when somebody sacrificed all of their aura. And I think it's the exact thing going to happen to him because Killua keeps warning him, if you keep doing this. And then cut off his arm. I'm not really worried about the, the amputation because, the, the you know, him losing an arm, we've seen him lose an arm before. And that easily, I don't know how they're going to fix that. You know what I'm saying? Now, I mean, maybe some, if Greed Island is still going on, maybe they could still get... He, um, I don't know. I mean, Breath of Archangel was, you know, was a savior in that at that point. Maybe there's somebody else. There's got to be somebody else that can that can do that. I mean, then the possibilities of Nen is 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 infinite. You know, so I don't doubt that there's somebody out there that can give him a new arm. So I'm not worried about the arm. I'm worried about him surviving this. Is he going to survive this? Um, all, you know, all throughout, I think he's, I, I really do think that he's going to end up in the same state that we saw Netero at the end, end of the fight before he punctured his heart, his heart, right? I think he's going to end up in that same state looking shriveled up and, you know, way older. It's like, it, it's sad. And I know maybe this is not the, the way you're supposed to feel about this episode, but the, the episode is just so beautifully written and voice acted and, and everything about it is just one beautiful. I mean, if, if, if you were composing, if you were composing music, this would have been a masterpiece. You get what I'm saying? It, it would have been a masterpiece. It was a beautifully done episode. And I think that even though you're going to look, maybe you're looking at it and saying that um that Pito probably deserved that. I don't think she deserved that. 
Because at the end of the day, what was she trying to do? Protect someone that was precious to her, just like what Gunn was retaliating about. You get what I'm saying? Somebody that's precious to him died at the hands of her, right? And she was, she basically decided to go after Gunn because he's a threat to the king. Looking at things objectively will help you see what's really going on here and, and what the author is is trying to, to, to really put across to the audience. You know, there, there, there's so many lessons to, to learn from this, and, and it's like, you know, losing your cool. What are the consequences of losing your cool? Power a day? Being angry for a day? You know what I'm saying? Doing stupid shit while you angry? Sacrificing your life for what? For what? I understand that also that if Gon didn't do this, he would stand no chance against Pito. As again, opinions. I don't believe he would stand a chance against Pito if... He didn't do this, but I also think is it's just when I'm when I think about the pummeling, when I think about the pummeling that he that he was doing, she was dead. She was dead. It's her ability and her and you know the instinct, the ability. Used her as a puppet to take out, to take Gunn's arm, right? That's what happened. She was done. She, 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 and, and he's still, <sighs> I don't know. I don't know, man. That was a really, really, it was a good episode in the sense that for the story, but it was a re it, it, it was a sad moment because I never, ever imagined to see, I never wanted him to, it, it, it was slowly, slowly descending into darkness, but I never wanted to, to see it. I knew it was going to break him, but I didn't see it get into this point where he would go that far, you know? So that's really what really, really caught me off guard um, to the point where I was trembling because I was like, what is this going to cost him? You know? Because this is not Dragon Ball Z. There are consequences to everything that you do in this anime. There's consequences to it. It's not Dragon Ball Z where you just get angry and get stronger. You know? So, man, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the reaction, man. Um... Make sure you leave a like, leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. I know you guys have been waiting for me to get to 131 for a good while now. And, and the arc is still not over. Because we still got to see what is the aftermath of the king getting back to the palace. And what they're going to do over there. We got, you know, just let me know what you guys thought of. First time you watched this episode, man. If it was, if you if you got what I got out of it or you know what I'm saying? Or it was just a hype moment for you. That's fine too. Um, it's cool, but there's so much more to what Togashi is trying to say. I think there's a lot more to it than just what's on the surface. Um, we all know this, this anime is not about, you know, hype fights and, all that other stuff. The guy's trying to tell a story. Yes, you get a fight here and there. They're cool. Showing new Nen abilities. And they're cool to see in an anime. Um, but at the core of it all, 
to God she's trying to tell a, a great story. So thank you guys so much for tuning in, man. Been here doing a review for 20 minutes. Um, yeah, leave a comment, leave a like. It's your first time watching, and you only here to watch 131. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, man. There's more to come. Thank you guys so much for watching. You are Terror Squad. I am Mr. Terror by Reacts, and I will see you guys next time for the next Hunter Hunter reaction. Peace.